As humans, we're always searching for ways to improve our lives and increase our sense of well-being. One trend that has emerged in recent years is minimalism, the art of living with less. While many people have embraced this lifestyle, there are still some who are skeptical about the benefits of minimalism. In this video, we'll explore 10 reasons why you might not want to try minimalism and why it might not be the right fit for everyone. So let's dive in. Reason one, you love to collect things. Are you someone who is fond of collecting things? Do you find joy in accumulating objects and surrounding yourself with them? If so, then minimalism may not be the lifestyle for you. Minimalism is all about living with less and decluttering your life, which can be challenging for those who enjoy collecting things. The idea of parting with your beloved possessions can be daunting and even distressing, and it's understandable that some people may feel reluctant to let go of their prized possessions. However, it's important to remember that minimalism isn't about depriving yourself of the things you love, but rather about prioritizing what's truly important in your life. By decluttering and simplifying your possessions, you can free up space, time, and energy to focus on the things that truly matter to you. Reason two, you have a sentimental attachment to your possessions. For some of us, possessions hold much more than just their physical value. They can be a tangible connection to our past, memories of loved ones, or symbols of important life events. Minimalism can be a real struggle for those who have strong emotional ties to their possessions. Parting with items that hold sentimental value can be like bidding farewell to a piece of ourselves. It can trigger feelings of grief, loss, or even guilt. This can make decluttering seem like an impossible task as it forces us to confront our past and what we value in the present. It's okay to hold on to items that have sentimental value, but it's important to recognize when those possessions are no longer serving us. We must ask ourselves if keeping these items brings us joy or if they're merely taking up space in our lives. Minimalism can be an opportunity to curate our possessions so that only the ones that hold true value remain. While letting go of sentimental possessions can be a challenge, it can also be an opportunity for growth and personal reflection. By releasing ourselves from the burden of physical possessions, we can create space for new memories, experiences, and opportunities. Reason three, you value material possessions. Minimalism requires a shift in mindset. It's about focusing on the things that truly matter and letting go of the excess. If you're someone who values material possessions, the idea of letting go of things may feel uncomfortable or even painful. You may find it hard to part with items that hold sentimental or monetary value. Perhaps you've worked hard to acquire a collection of luxury goods and the thought of getting rid of them is daunting. You may also feel that owning certain possessions defines who you are and gives you a sense of status. But the truth is, material possessions can be a double-edged sword. While they can bring temporary happiness and satisfaction, they can also weigh us down and prevent us from experiencing true fulfillment. When we attach our identity and happiness to things, we limit ourselves and our potential for growth. Reason four, you enjoy shopping. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Minimalism requires you to rethink your relationship with shopping. Instead of seeking happiness through the acquisition of material possessions, minimalists aim to find contentment in the things that truly matter, such as experiences, relationships, and personal growth. For those who enjoy shopping, this shift in mindset can be difficult to accept. Furthermore, minimalism requires you to limit your purchases and focus on buying only what you need. This means saying goodbye to impulse buys and carefully considering each purchase. For those who love the thrill of a good sale or the satisfaction of bringing home a new item, this can be a hard pill to swallow. It's important to note that minimalism doesn't mean giving up shopping altogether. Instead, it's about being intentional with your purchases and only buying what you truly need or will bring value to your life. By embracing minimalism, you may even discover that you enjoy shopping more than ever as you focus on finding high quality items that will last a long time rather than constantly chasing the next trend. Reason five, you have a large family. Firstly, the more people you have in your family, the more possessions you tend to accumulate. With children growing up and constantly needing new clothes and toys, it can feel like you're always buying new things. Additionally, with more people, you might feel like you need to have more space, which can lead to a bigger house and more things to fill it with. Another challenge is that everyone in your family might not share the same minimalistic mindset. While you might be on board with decluttering and simplifying your possessions, your partner or children might not be as enthusiastic. This can lead to conflict and make it harder to stick to your minimalistic goals. Lastly, it can be difficult to keep up with a minimalist lifestyle when you have guests or extended family members visiting. If you have a large family, there might be frequent gatherings, which can mean more food, decorations, and other items. It can be hard to strike a balance between hospitality and minimalism. Reason six, you have a small living space. In a world where it seems like everyone is jumping on the minimalist bandwagon, it's easy to feel like you should be doing the same. But what if your living space is already small and cozy? What if you simply don't have the room to downsize your possessions? This is just one of the many reasons why you may not want to try minimalism. 
Living in a small space means that you already have to be selective about what you keep and what you get rid of. Every inch counts and you've likely already put a lot of thought into what you bring into your home. Trying to pare down even further may leave you feeling like you're sacrificing comfort and functionality for the sake of a trend. It's important to remember that minimalism is not a one size fits all solution. If your current living situation is working for you and your family, there's no need to try and force yourself into a lifestyle that doesn't make sense for you. Minimalism is about living intentionally and making deliberate choices about what you surround yourself with. It's not about depriving yourself of the things that bring you joy and comfort. Reason seven, you enjoy decorating your space. Minimalism often involves reducing the number of items in your home, which may mean getting rid of decorative items that you love. This can be particularly difficult if you spent years curating your collection of decor and each piece has a special meaning to you. It's understandable that you may not want to let go of these sentimental items, even if they don't necessarily serve a practical purpose. Moreover, a minimalist approach to decorating may not align with your aesthetic preferences. Minimalism often favors clean lines, neutral colors, and simplicity, which may not be your preferred style. If you enjoy a more eclectic or ornate style, then minimalism may not be the right fit for you. It's important to remember that minimalism is not a one size fits all approach. You can still incorporate your unique sense of style into a minimalist lifestyle. However, it may require some adjustments and a shift in perspective. Reason eight, you enjoy cooking and entertaining. Minimalism and cooking enthusiasts might not seem like they go together like bread and butter. It's understandable that the thought of letting go of any kitchen gadget or appliance might make you feel like you're sacrificing your culinary ambitions. Perhaps you enjoy whipping up elaborate meals or hosting dinner parties, and the idea of minimizing your kitchen possessions seems like a death sentence to your culinary creativity. But fear not, fellow foodies, minimalism doesn't have to mean compromising on your passion for cooking and entertaining. In fact, it can enhance it by helping you focus on what matters most. By decluttering your kitchen, you can get rid of the unnecessary items that are taking up precious space and making it difficult to find what you need. With fewer items to sift through, you'll be able to streamline your cooking process and become more efficient in the kitchen. Plus, a minimalist kitchen can be visually appealing and functional. By sticking to the essentials, you can create a sleek and organized space that's both stylish and practical. Instead of cluttering your countertops with various appliances, you can opt for multifunctional tools that can perform multiple tasks. This way, you can save space without sacrificing functionality. And when it comes to entertaining, minimalism can help you focus on what truly matters spending quality time with your guests. Instead of stressing over the perfect table setting or the most elaborate meal, you can focus on creating a warm and welcoming atmosphere for your guests. By simplifying your entertaining style, you can also save time and money while still providing a memorable experience for your guests. Reason nine, you have a hobby that requires space or materials. Firstly, your hobby might require a lot of space. For example, if you enjoy woodworking, you need space to store your tools, materials, and finished products. Similarly, if you enjoy painting, you need a space to set up your easel, paints, and canvas. If you're passionate about your hobby, you do not want to feel cramped and cluttered in your home. Secondly, your hobby might require specific materials or equipment that are not easy to store or downsize. For instance, if you are a musician, you need space for your instruments, amps, and recording equipment. If you're a photographer, you need space for your camera gear, lighting equipment, and props. Minimalism might not allow you to have all the necessary equipment for your hobby. Lastly, you may have a sentimental attachment to your hobby equipment and materials. Your tools and equipment may hold a special meaning for you, and you may not be ready to let go of them. They may represent years of hard work and dedication, and giving them up may feel like giving up a part of yourself. Reason 10, you value the memories associated with possessions. Minimalism often involves getting rid of possessions, but sometimes possessions hold sentimental value that makes them hard to part with. Memories associated with these possessions can be powerful, and sometimes it's hard to let them go. If you're someone who values the memories associated with your possessions, then minimalism might not be for you. Memories are an integral part of our lives. They help us remember the good times and learn from the bad. Some memories are associated with possessions, such as a gift from a loved one or a souvenir from a special trip. These possessions can be a tangible reminder of the people, places, and experiences that have shaped our lives. For many, the thought of parting with these possessions can be overwhelming. It's not just about the physical item, but the memories that come with it. Minimalism can be seen as a threat to these memories, as it involves getting rid of possessions that may hold sentimental value. But it's important to remember that memories don't necessarily need physical objects to exist. Memories can be preserved in other ways, such as photographs, journaling, or simply taking the time to reflect on them. Minimalism can even help to focus on the memories that matter most by removing distractions and allowing you to truly appreciate what you have.